Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course in this episode we are going to continue our study on organic or chemistry. Alright, uh, don't forget to like this video, like in this video will make other students easily find this video. Alright, and of course don't forget to subscribe, subscription is free. Alright, so it's just to send notification to your phone, alright, to tell you that we have published a new video. So why will you be doing this harm to yourself by not subscribing? Alright, of course don't forget to share, keep sharing to your friends, to your loved ones. Alright, invite them to come and learn. Alright, so today we are going to be looking at um, classification of organic compounds. Classifications. Okay, of organic compounds, organic compounds. All right, do not forget that this tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jam app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam, as all the past questions that you need, okay, for study. So you do not need to bother about going to get past questions anywhere. It has uh, a classroom feature that has lecture notes, structured according to the Jam syllabus. If you want to pass your, your exam, you must study according to the Jam syllabus. So those lecture notes are what we use the Jam syllabus to what to structure those what those notes for you to study. All right, so you do. Not need to go and be buying textbook or carrying textbook up and down. And likewise, we have what the question search feature. You can search for question according to topics. Some of you will be searching by year, okay, not by the year, by the topic you are what you are, you are, you are what you are uh, you are studying. All right. Then likewise, we also have what the UTM mock challenge every Saturday. Compete with your mates, win a lot of amazing prizes every Saturday. Uh, get used to jump pass and likely exam questions. I uh, see your score is released every Saturday. And what is more is that what as you see your score released every Saturday. You'll be seeing your, your progress and you'll be building your confidence towards the main exam. All right, so please go to the Play Store immediately, download the app, and start practicing your way to success. All right, it's my prayer for you and for all my students, okay, and all those who are in this army, okay, in this old schools army. All right, you are going to succeed in your exam once in the mighty name of Jesus as you write. It is right. Okay? As you write, it is right. I'm going to write it once, and that is all. If I write it, this is your second time. As you are watching this video now, okay? This will be the last time you write it. Just believe and walk towards it. All right? So let us go to work classification of organic what? compounds. All right? So some organic compounds contain carbon and hydrogen only. Carbon and hydrogen only. Some organic compounds contain just what? Uh, uh, carbon and hydrogen only. Okay, we call these uh, organic compounds hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons. All right. So some organic compounds contain just what carbon and hydrogen. All right, and uh, we call those ones what hydrocarbon. Example is what is methane, which is one of the simplest alkane. Okay, the simplest alkane is what methane. Methane. Okay, so uh, that is what maintain. Okay, it's what is is an hydrocarbon. All right, it has just what carbon and hydrogen means what in this formula. All right, so this is what a simple alkane. Okay, call what maintain. So some comp some organic compounds have just carbon and hydrogen alone in that formula. Okay, and that's why we call them what hydrocarbons. Okay, they contain just carbon and hydrogen. Some others contain some other elements like you will see oxygen, or you see sulfur. Or you see, we will see nitrogen. Even you see what phosphorus and what and other metals and other what metals. All right. So some organic compounds what contain what other elements. Okay, I will not just have just what uh, hydrocarbons. Only what uh, uh, carbon and what and hydrogen. All right. So they may contain these other elements. Okay. For example, if you have a glucose, like glucose is C six H twelve O what six. Okay. This is what glucose C six. H12O6, all right? So glucose itself is an organic compound, all right? But of course, it's not an hydrocarbon because you are seeing what? Oxygen in this what in this formula, all right? So these ones are not called what hydrocarbons. Okay, other organic compounds that contain other elements in their what in their formula, all right? They are not called what hydrocarbon, but they are called non-hydrocarbons. Non-hydrocarbons, all right? So please take note of that. Example is what? Is glucose, okay? C6, H12O6. All right, so we have classified between what two, okay, two type of what organic compounds. Those are what the hydrocarbons and the non-hydrocarbons. The ones that have what, just carbon and hydrogen are called hydrocarbons. Or right, the ones that have what other elements in their formula are called what non-what hydrocarbons. All right. Now, having known this, it's also important to know that what organic compounds may be grouped into what two, okay, aliphatic compounds and aromatic compounds. Okay, let us see, aliphatic compounds and what. And aromatic what compounds? Okay, organic compounds may be grouped also into what aromatic compounds, 
aromatic compounds and what? Aliphatic compounds. All right? So aromatic and what? And aliphatic. The aromatic what, uh, compounds are compounds that resemble benzene in their structure. Okay? The aromatic what, compounds, they are compounds that resemble, they resemble benzene in their structure. In their structure. Okay? So benzene has what? The formula C6H6. All right, so benzene has the formula C6H6, and aromatic what compounds are compounds that resemble what this benzene in their structure. In fact, most of what these aromatic compounds they have what derivatives. They are derivatives, derivatives of what of this part benzene. Okay, they are derivatives of what of benzene. For example, we have phenol, we have toluene, we have what ethyl benzene, and so on and so forth. All right, so for example, this is the structure of benzene. Let us see the structure of benzene. All right, so this is benzene. Is the structure of what of benzene? All right, this is the structure of benzene. All right, this is a straight place. So, all right, so now benzene. This is what the structure of what of benzene. All right, or you can write it out uh, with the go with the carbon what uh, uh, with the carbon what atom showing. All right, so you have C, you have C C, you have C, you have what C, you have what C, then you have what C. All right, so you have double bond here, double bond here, double bond here. Okay, you can alternate the double bonds. It does not mean just the only important thing you should know is that what it has a six what carbon atom, six, six, eight, six, and it has what three double bonds in its what in its formula. Benzene has three double bonds in its what in its formula. All right, so you can put this double this double bond must not be here. Okay, you can put double bond here. All right, just know that it will not be here. It will be here next. Then that this will not be here and be what to be here next. All right, so anywhere you put it. It's okay, but it must have what three double what bonds. Okay, it must have three double bonds. So this is benzene. Okay, the structure of what of benzene. All right. So for phenol, phenol for example, sorry, phenol for example, which is what C six phenol is C six H five O H. Okay, having what the alcanol. Okay, having what the alcohol the alcohol functional group in this formula. Phenol is just what this formula. This is benzene. Okay, phenol is just what add O H at the top. All right. So it's a derivative. That's how we say that they are what they are mostly what derivatives of what of this benzene. Okay, so aromatic what hydrocarbons, hydrocarbon or sorry, aromatic what compounds are compounds that what that resemble benzene in their structure. Okay, as you can see the structure of benzene, okay, with that without this OH, and you can see the structure of what of, uh, of phenol, all right. We do what with the OH. All right, if you see all that what derivatives also, they almost was very, very was similar in what in structure. All right, so those are what aromatic what. Are, uh, aromatic what compounds? Those are aromatic compounds. Then now when I look at what the aliphatic what compounds, the aliphatic compounds are compounds that are based on chains of carbon atoms. Okay, that are based on chains of carbon atoms. Okay, aliphatic compounds are compounds, compounds based on chains, chains. Sorry, on chains of carbon atoms okay so those are what aliphatic what compounds compounds based on chains chains of what of carbon what atom all right so we talk about what ability of carbon to what to what to catenate all right to form long chains okay so uh aliphatic compounds are grouped into three we have what the alkanes these alkanes have what a single what covalent bond single covalent bond okay so that's how you see what an arcane like this, all right? So they are bonded. Two carbon atoms are bonded with just what one single bond, okay? So those are arcanes. Then we have what? Arcanes. Arcanes. Okay, these ones have what? At least one single what? Uh, one single double bond, okay? They have what? At least one double bond, okay, in that what? In that formula, all right? So this is what C to what? To C. The carbon atom is what bonded to another carbon atom by what we talk with a double bond. Okay, one of the carbon atoms must be bonded to what to the other with at least with just what with at least one what double double carbon to carbon or bond as you are seeing here. So these are what alkenes. They also have the alkynes. Those alkynes they have what 
carbon to carbon triple bonds. Okay, so carbon to carbon what triple what bond? Okay, so these are alkenes, carbon to carbon single bond, alkenes, carbon to carbon double bonds, then the alkynes, carbon to carbon what triple what bonds. So these are what they are aliphatic what compounds. They are aliphatic what compounds, compounds based on chains. Chains of carbon atoms. All right, we say they, they, they may be what alkenes, alkenes, and what and alkynes. Also, some aliphatic compounds may, okay, they may what be what uh, possess what a ring of carbon atoms. Some aliphatic compounds may contain what ring of carbon atoms. They contain ring, ring of carbon atoms. Okay, contain what ring, ring of what of carbon atoms. So this they may, they may be they may appear what like they, they will not be what in a straight form they may be like, like a ring okay in that case if it's an arcane okay that's what uh, 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 occasionally what appearing also as a what as a ring we will call them what cyclo arcanes if it's for the arcanes cyclo what cyclo what arcanes okay if they are alkenes we say that what that cyclo alkenes if they are alkynes all right if they are alkynes they will call them what cyclo Alkynes, all right. So we are saying that what aliphatic what compounds may what may occasionally will appear as what as a ring of carbon atom. Okay, in that case we call it what cyclo. Say they are cyclic. Okay, they are cyclic or is cyclic. They are cyclic. Cyclic. That is what C Y C L I C. We say they are what they are cyclic. All right. So we have what cyclo alkynes, cyclo alkynes, and what cyclo what alkynes. Okay, an example is what is cyclohexane. Okay, hexane has the what. Uh, as the formula C6H12, okay? This is hexane, C6H12, all right? That is what hexane, all right? So in the cyclic form, it, 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 it's, it's like this, all right? C, 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 okay? So it's, it's a cyclo, it's a what? It's an, it's, so it's an alkane, oh, this is an alkane. 6 is H12, all right? It's an alkane, all right? Having what? Uh, a ring what form okay appearing in what in a ring what form right this is what a cyclo what uh exane this is how a cyclo exane look like h h h h h h okay so this is what this is what cyclo what exane okay appearing like a ring appearing in a ring what form all right so that's why i think that was somewhat aliphatic or compounds what may occasionally what appear as a ring of carbon atoms all right so an example is what is cyclohexane all right in this one now it's no longer hexane again it's cyclo what hexane cyclo cyclohexane all right so that is that for that those are what aliphatic what compounds all right also finally we can what classify what organic compounds based on what on their carbon to carbon bonds okay we can classify organic compounds based on their carbon to carbon what bond all right we may classify what organic compound based on their carbon on their carbon to carbon bonds all right so in that case we have two types of what of organic compounds all right we have what the saturated organic compounds and the non saturated non-saturated organic compounds. All right? So, uh, based on what, on their carbon-to-carbon -carbon bonds, we see that what, they are saturated or non-saturated. An example of what, of saturated organic compounds are the alkanes. Alkanes. They are what? They are saturated. Okay? The alkanes what have what? The maximum number of hydrogen atoms required for what? For for covalent for bonding. Okay? For the requirement for covalent bonding, it has the maximum number of what? Hydrogen atoms for what? For covalent word bonding or required by what? By covalent word bonding. All right? So that's why I say that they are what? They are saturated. Only the alkanes. So, okay, they are what? They are saturated what? Uh, organic compounds. Okay? Why the non-saturated examples are what? The alkenes. And the what? The alkynes. Okay, this one's having what? Carbon to carbon double bond. This one having carbon to carbon what? Triple what bond. All right? So, based on their carbon to carbon bonds, all right? They are classified into what? Organic compounds are classified into saturated organic compounds and non-saturated organic compounds. Example of saturated is what? Carbon to carbon uh, bonds, which is what? The alkenes. Okay? Carbon to carbon single bond, the alkenes. Why the example of non-saturated organic compounds are what the alkenes and the what and the alkynes. All right. So 
these are more words we we'll, we'll keep on learning as what well as we continue. In the next episode, we are going to be looking at homologous word series. All right, so please stick with us. All right, keep learning and we'll keep shining. All right, I'll see you in that next episode. Thank you for watching.